Hey guys, this is Animat, and oh my god, it is here! It finally arrived in the mail, and honestly, a lot faster than I expected. And I am talking, of course, about the Silver Creator Award. My very own Silver Creator Award for achieving 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And this has been quite a long journey in order to achieve it because um, I've been doing this for almost 10 years by now. And I just gotta say, this could not have come at a better time because right now it is my birthday or at the very least it's around the time of my birthday so honestly what better way to celebrate my birthday this year than to receive probably one of the best birthday gifts that you can ever get from youtube so with all that said let's go ahead and open this up i haven't done this since what's in the box but this might as well be considered at least for me one of the best episodes of what's in the box <laughs> oh my god so Let's check this out. Oh my god. Oh, I'm finally gonna do it. Wait, how do you... Oh my god, I gotta make sure I open this correctly. Alright. There we go. Alright, I think it... I think it's ready. I think we... Wait, can we officially open it? Is there anything extra? Okay, no. Oh wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the anticipation is building up. Let's see. Okay. Okay, this is it. This is it, folks! Hold on, I've got to make sure I got to hide this. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. It's covered. It's hidden. There's still more to uncover. Oh, for God's sakes. Okay, we still have more. Oh, it comes with a paper. I did not expect that. Okay. Let's see now. Uh, from YouTube, and it says... You've just done something that very few YouTuber, uh, YouTube creators accomplish. You have an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight that uh, uh, don't lose sight of the reality behind that six-digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. Uh, they were inspired, challenged, or entertained. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we'd like to recognize you and your hard work with this Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for rewards, you do it because you have a drive to create and share, and because you found an audience who cares. Believe us uh, when we say that we can't wait to see you to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think, and we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Yours sincerely, Susan uh, Wojcicki, uh, the CEO of YouTube. Maybe I got that name wrong, but then again, how many names have I gotten wrong over the years? <laughs> okay, but yes, right underneath me is this. This is it. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm feeling something else. Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, congratulations. Oh, okay. This is... Okay, so I got... A little, I got, I got, um, I got this little, like, business card from the people that actually made the award. Okay. So let's see now. Oh, my Lord. This is, oh, my God. It's beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Presented presented to Electric Dragon 505 for passing 100,000 subscribers. This is, oh, my God. It's much more beautiful than I could ever imagine. Oh, man. I am glad that they updated these because this looks amazing. This looks beautiful. Oh, my God. And it's my very own. Holy crap, I never, I, like, I'm serious when I say that I never thought that I would actually make it to this moment or, like, this moment would actually become a reality right now. But, uh, I just have to say, though, that, uh, the reason for this video is not just because of this. It's not just because of me opening my Silver Creator Award. Uh, this is also because I want to go and give many people thanks uh, for actually making it to this milestone. I've said this before, but I would be a liar if I said that 
I went through this entire journey al alone because I have gotten so much support and I've gotten so much help from many different people throughout the years. So uh, this video is gonna be entirely dedicated to giving thanks to all the people who helped me throughout this nearly 10 year journey. So maybe you just wanna see me open this up, so that's pretty much it. So the rest of this is gonna be my thanks to everyone who has helped me out. So I wanna start things off by thanking the Academy and God. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, the first people that I do want to thank for this is actually my friends and family. Like my friends and family outside of the internet because I am very fortunate that throughout my life, I have been surrounded by great people who have been very supportive in whatever I do. And not only that, but very helpful, very friendly, and very positive that even if I would go and put myself in this incredible journey of just talking about animated films and animation history and all that kind of stuff, that they have always been by my side no matter what. Like, no matter what crazy journey that I would go to or whatever crazy personality that I would display myself, they have always been very supportive. Uh, they have always been very great. And I, I feel very thankful for that. I feel very thankful that I have these people throughout my life that would go and um, help me out to go and pursue my dreams and uh, help me go and do what I want to do and do it the best way that I ever can. So with those people, I want to say thank you so much. And I'm really happy that I, I have you by my side, either as friends or just to be a part of my family. Like that's probably one of the best things of my life is to have these people with me. Now, the next people that I wanna thank, of course, is the online friends, the people that are not in my general area, but people that I love to hang out with. And I've got an entire list of that, and I can count so many different people, and I could go on and on with them. Uh, people like Morgan, James, Devin, Joey, uh, Dan, Sarah, Sam, Mike, and so many others. Uh, I feel great to have these people as well in my life that even though I have yet to meet them in real life, that online we could still go and hang out and have fun. Like, it's honestly been a blast to have these people with me. Uh, you know, not only sharing our similarities and sharing our interests in movies and in cinema in animation and games and uh, all different kinds of stuff, but also to help each other out in terms of what we love to do, which is making videos. And often we would go and do collaborations and often help each other out to go and make each other's videos better. It's definitely a lot of fun to have these people out and not only help out on our videos, but help each other out just as individuals that sometimes that we would need the emotional support and sometimes these people can really go and help you out and trust me uh, like sometimes it's not in your general area that you can really find that emotional support now of course with me um with my friends and family in my area they do give me a lot of great emotional support but also my friends online can also help a great deal of that as well so with your help on that, uh, this is why you have helped me grow to become the person who I am right now and to achieve this level. So for you guys, I want to say thanks. Now, there is one of these online friends, though, that I want to give a special shout out, like a special thanks in here. And that is actually to Caleb, because if you've been doing this for a long time, like if you've been working as an internet personality for years, then it is gonna happen that uh, some of your fans might end up becoming good friends. And Caleb is actually one of them because Caleb is one of those super fans that really goes up and beyond to go and support your work 
and would even go and do things that I would be way too shy to actually go and do myself. Like, whenever I would go and make a video and I would talk about uh, a certain celebrity or a certain personality, Caleb would be one of those people that would go directly to those people and would just say, hey, go and check out this video. This guy says good things about you. So honestly, it, like it, it's a little bit freaky whenever I would see those moments happening when the people that I would talk about in my videos uh, that they would actually have a link to where they can notice me is freaky, but it, it really shows the devotion of support that Caleb would go. And over the years, I've gotten to know him so well. And, you know, I, I feel, I don't know, maybe like it's just me, but I feel like we have been pretty good buds ever since, like uh, sharing our feelings and also making sure everything is fine. And uh, of course, um, this goes without mentioning that he really does help me out often get me out of trouble because it can happen where I can find myself in little controversies here and there, but Caleb is always there no matter what to go and help me out and to make sure that at least the flames can dim down and make sure that everything can be in control once again. And not to mention, of course, being the co-founder of the Animat Fan Club, which is a, a little Facebook group where a bunch of people can just get together and they could just go and share their interests, just have fun, meet new friends, and all that kind of stuff. So Caleb is also there to help create, um, you know, not just an entire fan club, but just a, a, an entire community that doesn't necessarily just have to be about me, but rather just uh, like a little group of people to that, that would go and just have fun, really. It, it, it's really just a place about having fun, about sharing their love for animation, of movies, of TV shows, and all that kind of stuff. And to build, you know, so, so that we can build and maintain a good and positive environment where everybody can just have fun, you know, to make the Animat Fan Club the best community that it can be. And for that, I want to give a special thanks to uh, Caleb for that one. Now, the next person that I want to give thanks is actually possibly my biggest inspiration for doing all this. My biggest inspiration, one of my biggest heroes, and the reason why I am here right now, why I am making videos, and why I'm pretty much here, and that has to be James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd. Ever since I first saw his video, I believe back in 2007, that really was a moment that changed my life forever. And since then, that's when I discovered uh, the entire reviewing genre and got me really inspired to find a purpose in life, to find what I want to do. And, uh, you know, to, to really give a new life and as an artist, uh, a new way to fully express myself. And, uh, you know, an interesting thing is that originally I was thinking about doing a video game show, you know, to become like a YouTube gamer and all that kind of stuff. But then uh, I was more inspired by Cinemassacre's Monster Madness. And I wanted to do a little bit of a show just like that, but maybe something related more to Disney or for animation. And that's where I got my inspiration for Animation Look Back. And to this day, I still love watching The Angry Video Game Nerd. I still love watching James Rolfe's content. And I really do admire him in every single way, not just as a content creator, but also as a filmmaker and also as an individual. Like in every sense of the way, I really do feel like James Rolfe is highly an admirable figure and someone that I wish to be. And a little bit of a role model, I would add, on the side as well, because um, I, I've heard so many great stories about people who meet James Rolfe and also the kind of individual that he is. And uh, on top of that, like seeing the kind of content that he makes and uh, the kind of dreams that he also has. It's the kind of thing that inspires me as well to be that kind of content creator and to be that kind of dreamer as well. Because James Rolfe, 
like he has a lot of responsibilities right now. He's not just a content creator. He's also a husband. He's also a father. And he's also a passionate filmmaker who's pursuing his dreams to go and make movies. And even though for me, like I, I wouldn't say it's the same thing. Like I, I still have a long way to go to become like a husband and a father and all that kind of stuff. But um, to, you know, to go and still do this and to go and still follow your dreams, that is something that is highly admirable and that I'm still doing that I don't just want to go and create videos on YouTube and to make videos on the internet, but also I want to go and pursue my dream to go and become a prominent voice actor and maybe one day doing voiceover roles for Disney, rather it be for movies or the theme parks. So that is something that to this day that I still follow. And I just wanna say, James, um, maybe this is unlikely, but if you are watching this, I would just wanna say, thank you so much for the inspiration that you have given me over the years and uh, to help me find my voice and to find who I am as an individual. And uh, I wish you the best of luck in your life. And I just wanna say, Thank you for everything, dude. Uh, just, uh, I, I really do wish you the best and just thank you for helping me find who I am. Now, the next person that I do wanna thank might be a little bit of a shocker for some. Like this is gonna be the one that some people might say, you're giving thanks to that guy on your 100,000 subscribers? Honestly, yes, I would give thanks to him. And uh, who I want to thank for this is uh, Yoshi Player and his group of friends. Now, I know that some people might be shocked and they'll say, wait a minute, Yoshi Player, the guy who did the problems with anime video? Yes, that guy. Because I will explain. Let me go and tell you why. Probably one of the best things that I have done in recent years is contact Yoshi Player and actually talk with him to actually go and have a one-on-one -on -one chat to go and discuss about what I have done wrong in the past. Where is it that I have screwed up and where is it that I've had a little bit of trouble and what caused that little piece of controversy from years ago. And since then, I feel like that really was the key moment that really did help me out to change as an individual and also as a content creator because yeah, it, it was pretty tough to go and get it through my head, the message that he was trying to say in that video. But um, over the years, it did help me grow and realize where is it that I went wrong. And this isn't just about the whole Sony Pictures animation thing. It's not the way that I would uh, portray Sony Pictures animation, but also to remind myself of my position as a content creator and to not go and abuse my platform. Because I will admit, there are times during that moment that I did screw up and where the platform really did get to my head and unfortunately might end up hurting a few people that were once considered my fans or people uh, you know, that they were just expressing my thoughts. Uh, no, they, they were just, not my thoughts, of course, but uh, they were just expressing their thoughts and uh, some of the issues that they have with me. It took some time, but finally, it did manage to go and get through it. And I feel very thankful for that because it actually did help me grow both as an individual and a, as a content creator because if that moment never happened, if I never went and contacted Yoshi Player, or if Yoshi Player never made that video in the first place, then I would have honestly gone really down to a massive downward spiral in the same way that is currently right now destroying Doug Walker, that's currently corrupting Channel Awesome and why that's been getting such a terrible reputation in recent years. So for that, uh, I want to thank Yoshi Player for waking me up, basically, to make me realize about the flaws that I've had in the past and to help me find uh, a, a piece of humbleness, to help go and improve the image of Animat, to go and become uh, a better person, to become a better critic. And honestly, looking back right now, what Yoshi Player did, funny enough, what, what he did, I feel like, 
That's the kind of critic that I want to be. Someone who is straightforward and often can be very blunt and not afraid to say what he wants to say. And maybe the person that I, that I would go and talk to, like maybe at first they might not like to hear the things I would say, but then once the person would go and put it to practice, they can look back and feel thankful that I did point that out. Yo, what Yoshi Player did in that video is the kind of critic that I want to be for my reviews. And that's why I want to give a special thanks to him. And also, um, this is a bit of a shout out, I guess, since I want to give thanks to Yoshi Player, I want to give thanks to his friends as well. Uh, his friends that I have unfortunately wronged in the past. Now, what I want to ask is that... Um, even though, like, maybe nowadays, I don't know if uh, these people would still watch my content or if they have become fans or stuff like that, but I, I don't want to ask them to go and do that. I don't want to ask them to be my friends again or to go and be my fans and watch my stuff all over again. That's not what I'm asking right now. And by the way, uh, it has been a long time, so I do apologize if I forgot your names. It has been a long time ago, let's be fair. Uh, but... <laughs> Um, the only thing that I do want to ask is just at least forgiveness. Forgiveness of the bad things that I have done in the past, di especially directly to you. And on top of that, um, hopefully that you may notice that there has been some improvements on myself, not just in terms of, not not just improvements of the content that I'm making, not just improvements in terms of the criticisms that I do give or the way that I would approach Sony Pictures Animation, but also the improvements of me as an individual. That's all I ask and hopefully that you will notice because not only am I working hard to make great content, but I'm always looking for ways to go and improve, uh, not just with my videos, but also to improve myself as an individual. So hopefully you will find the forgiveness and hopefully you will see the improvements that I have been making. And I wanna also give a special thanks to you guys. Now, the next group of people that I really wanna thank here is actually my patrons, both people in the past and in the present who have supported me on my Patreon. Now, these people, like they're not just my fans. These are people that they really went up and beyond to really go that far to go and support my work and to really see my videos improve because it's really thanks to their help that I really am at the level of where I want to be to really go and really upgrade my stuff so that I can have much better equipment, that I can go and have time to improve my skills, and to really make this a legitimate job of mine that I can actually go and work on this full time. And honestly, I am really impressed and surprised that I've managed to get my Patreon to really go as high as it has right now because like honestly I'll, I'll just say right now I don't really care about how like if my numbers can go really high or if it would have a sudden dip the fact that there are people out there who are willing to go and support my work rather it be making a massive pledge to go and get like some kind of review request or even if it's even as small as like pledging $2 a month just to go and see my videos early. Like, regardless, these people really did take the extra mile to go and support my work. And for that, I really do feel thankful that there are those people out there that they really want to see me grow as a content creator. And it's really because of them that they, they really did push... Uh, they, they pushed me to go into that extra mile. And I, I'm always looking for ways to go and improve my Patreon to make it the best experience that it can be. And, you know, I, I'm always looking for ways to go and upgrade not just my videos, but also to go and upgrade my Patreon to make it uh, a great experience. So just keep an eye out for that to see any updates, any improvements, and uh, for that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for that. And finally, last but certainly not least, the people that I want to go and give thanks to for this occasion is you. The fans. The subscribers. 
the viewers, the people who help me come to this level. Now, when I would make my videos, the primary person that I would say I would do this for is mainly myself. That I would make content that I would like to see. That I know that the videos that I would love to go and check out, they don't technically exist on the internet, so I would go and create them myself and make them the best that it can ever be. But the ability that it can entertain not just myself, but also plenty of others as well, I feel like that is an incredible ability. Like, it gives me a voice that I never knew that I actually had. Like, I never knew that these videos would go on to have a very special ability to go and entertain people, to make them laugh, to make them think, to make them learn, and to really give a special spotlight to whatever that I'm talking about, rather it be about Disney, rather it be about animation, rather it be about movies or TV shows, video games, or what have you. The fact that my videos can do that, the fact that my videos can go and help brighten up someone's day, even if it is just one person overall, I feel like it, it, it's a very special power that I didn't know that I could have. Now, I'm not saying that everything that I do is perfect, of course. I'm only human, and I can still have the ability to just screw up or say something stupid or say or do something that I didn't mean to do. But still, the factor that there are plenty of people out there that do enjoy the things that I do really does make this feel magical and why it makes all this feel absolutely worth it. And I feel like with this, it, it really is a monument to that statement. So honestly, this is just thank you to everyone. This has honestly been an incredible 10 year journey. And hopefully I can continue to make not only the content that we would all love to see, but that we would go and use this as a motivation to help us grow bigger to help make the videos be better than what it is now, to help the subscriber count be bigger than what it is now, to really go and really make this journey even more incredible than I could imagine. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. So with all that said and done, I would just like to say thank you all so much for the 100,000 subscribers, and of course, until next time, see you later, dudes.